Welcome guys back to the Poor Investor. Today I'm going to bring to you a few things and you're probably wondering why I'm wearing a dress shirt. Well, because I one, I ran out of laundry. Two, I just finished working out and because I ran out of laundry. And three, um, I just wanted to switch it up really. I thought blue looks pretty good on me, right? Even though the background is purple. I am a little sweaty right now. So I did have the fan running and it was a little loud. So I had to shut that off. So I'm like the heat is just building up right now because this damn rig, even though it's not running right now meaning it is on but it's not actually mining it's still generating some type of heat so it is getting pretty hot in here but that's not my point that's not what i wanted to talk about today but i did get dressed up because i've been attending class with mit and what the hell am i talking about how does the poor investor even afford mit classes well you're in luck because i want to take you guys with me but before we continue like always i'm going to bring you the price of xch we are at 31 dollars 60 crypto bubble says that we're negative 8.6 percent and we are ranked 219 just yesterday was 215 but we're not going to focus too much on that there were some tweets from bram today like i've said previously every time he consecutively tweets about something he's annoyed you see all these tweets he's frustrated but you know what guys it has nothing to do with chia this time it has to do with san francisco and all the crime that's been happening there i'm not going to go into too much details of that because it gets all too political and all and that's just beyond me because that's definitely not what i want to talk about but i was mentioning about mit and what am i talking about where did i attend class and i got dressed for the occasion here you guys go and of course you saw my thumbnail satoshi nakamoto this is like the best place for you to learn the history of bitcoin and to where it is now pretty much in all these videos that i haven't completed yet you can see that i've watched one two three and going on four now these are not accurate i've actually completed the entire video but you know when i go to my different machine opposed to from my phone it kind of loses sync and it just says that i didn't complete it or whatever maybe i close out the phone immaturely or something like that but anyway so far from the three or four actually starting the fourth video from the three videos that i've watched already they explain so much details every hour that they're discussing and there are 23 courses so basically every hour i'm going to just average it out to an hour so it's 24 hours worth of video maybe 25 26 because they go over and hour you learn so much about the history of satoshi nakamoto how bitcoin started the miners the electricity usage the consensus mechanism how many validators are out there i think they call them validators or how many nodes are out there and how it's mining now in comparison to how it was mined back in 2009 i believe or 2010 and some of the things that the satoshi nakamoto white paper had addressed you know questions that were asked or raised during that time when he was still around till he disappeared appeared and then of course other people have taken on those roles like i said i did not finish all this so i don't know every details of it mit courses online on youtube specifically it's not something new to me i've actually followed it but if you're willing to sit there for over an hour and endure the monotone lectures that they give because it's so informative it's just their style of delivery is just really boring really honestly unless everyone spoke like me for the most part it will probably get you all hyped up like you know why is this guy so like what is he on what is he like is it drugs coke whatever i don't know coke as in the soda guys not nothing else all right just make sure of that i'll play a brief segment just so you can understand like throughout the four videos that i'm watching right now it's the same professor you know this is how he's delivering it technology side if you want to swim deeper in that pond but the technology really really matters this professor has a history in the financial background. And of course, he's teaching the blockchain and discussing Bitcoin more. I mean, he's not talking about any altcoin. He's specifically focused on Bitcoin. As far as I could tell, because of the four videos that I've been watching so far, it is very informative and I found it to be so educational. And these are the courses that they're teaching at MIT, right? Of course. And then you have a whole selection of other things from MIT. I mean, you got four, almost 4, 000, uh, 4 million subscribers subscribers over 6,000 videos or close to 7,000 videos you can just go through the list 
of videos that lectures that they have how to speak uh, you know public speaking student presentation you look at all these things it's so much learning capabilities online that are free you don't have to pay thousands of dollars in order to attend one of these classes so there's no excuse as to why you can't further educate yourself in regards to this right even in the blockchain world we're not just talking about like how to do accounting or how to write or you know how to do math or spelling it's other things on top of it mit is releasing all these courses now i'm not getting paid or i know i'm like why am i shilling mit courses it's just their reputation and their style delivery and their consistency with every topic that is just free which is amazing and it's not like you're going to get ads in between like here where you're going to get like and today we're going to bring you our sponsor hey guys today's sponsor is nordpass do you have a hard time remembering all your passwords notes credit cards then you need nordpass to help you securely store it all on your mac pc or mobile but only having to know your master password nordpass can store all your password in one place logs in faster generate secure passwords shop and browse faster save your time data breach scanner which i love the best because it actually scans online to make sure your credit card information isn't leaked password health and nordpass is a zero knowledge password manager which means no one else but you can see what's in your encrypted vault not even the nordpass team can see that make sure to use the link in the description below for our exclusive nordpass deal two years plus one month free premium plan they also offer a 30-day money back guarantee if you're not satisfied what do you have to lose just give it a try nordpass has been one of the best password manager available today nordpass created by nordvpn what's there to lose give it a try for 30 days and if you don't like it you get your money back hope you enjoy it thank you so it's nothing like that. It's not like these videos are putting ads in between these videos. You're actually teaching the entire one hour so you can just let it run and listen to it. I've actually been listening to it as I was sleeping most nights. But of course, my wife comes around and starts hitting me and turning off the phone because I really don't. I mean, I lose track after like 15 minutes, but I've been really concentrating on spending my time listening to all this and understanding it, which is very beneficial, I think, to a lot of people. But all right. So that's that. That's the whole MIT stuff one thing i wanted to mention because i spoke about it briefly the other day about the new york banning bitcoin mining the moratorium that's happening right now and guess who comes out and says something about it i oppose the banning proof of work no other than the creator of ethereum ultimately i agree with this that is i oppose banning pow the government picking and choosing what specific application are an okay use of electricity or not is a bad idea better to just implement carbon pricing and use some of the revenue used to compensate low income users everyone has their own opinion about this honestly i agree as well i mean it, in reality why does the government get to dictate what businesses you do depending on how much electricity you use right I, it just does it baffles the mind like all right you can't run a trucking company because you use too much gasoline what in the world and it's not even illegal you're being told you can't do it anymore video i actually watched which was pretty interesting was when they banned bitcoin mining in china China. surprisingly enough a lot of the people that were mining bitcoin in china were americans i'm just gonna put it out there you can say whatever you want there were a lot of american companies over in china mining bitcoin what did they do they ended up relocating over to the niagara falls on the new york side and this was a few years back when China banned Bitcoin mining. They moved all the ASIC miners and their facilities over to the United States in Niagara Falls. A few years later, New York is banning Bitcoin mining. Guess what they're going to do now? Now they're either relocating to another state or another country because of all this. Now that is just insane and that is crazy. It's basically the government dictating your lives. Whether you're here, somewhere else, wherever you are, and you can just go choose another state or another country, which I've also read is that that because they found out about Bitcoin mining, what they started to do was limit the electricity going into those companies mining Bitcoin in the other countries. Now that is just insane. You guys, how do we avoid any of this stuff? It, you, I don't know how to even begin, right? It's just so much regulations coming down on it and they're, I don't know, that just, it baffles the mind. But today, remember guys, I just wanted to bring the attention that I am studying this. So I'm going deep into this Satoshi Nakamoto. Why? Because remember, Chia did say that they're going off of that and that that's what they're basing it off of chia and because they're going to make it better so what better way to make sure that you understand it by learning it first and then seeing what they're actually making better all right so i want to thank you guys for always being here please remember to hit that like comment subscribe and i'll see you guys again soon bye